Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another horror movie night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Bram Stoker's Dracula, released in 1992. Bram Stoker's Dracula stars Gary Oldman, Winona Ryder, Anthony Hopkins, Keanu Reeves, Richard E. Grant, Carrie Elwes, Billy Campbell, Sadie Frost, and Tom Waits. Bram Stoker's Dracula was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Now this was written by James V. Hart, based on the novel by Bram Stoker. Now aside from the fact that the movie opens with the flashback scenes detailing that um, Count Dracula is indeed Vlad Tepes, Vlad the Impaler. This is a pretty good adaptation of um, Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola. Um, it pretty much follows the story um, as it is in the novel in a lot of respects. Um, much better than some of these other films, which basically were adapted from the stage play, which really, really changed a lot of elements from the novel. Um, so the, the 1930s movies were not accurate to the actual Bram Stoker's novel as what this is. Um, Gary Oldman gives an excellent performance throughout this film as Count Dracula. I am Dracula. And I bid you welcome, Mr. Hart, to my house. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins is pretty damned amazing himself as Professor Von Helsing, and you wouldn't expect anything less from him. I mean, Anthony Hopkins is pretty damn good in almost, almost anything he's in. I always come to my friends in need when they call me. So, Jack, tell me everything about your case. So, my friends, we fight not one beast, but the legions that go on age after age after age. Some of the other cast members are really good as well. Richard E. Grant is really good as Dr. Seward. And I assure you, a doctor's confidence is sacred. I must have your complete trust. Carrie Elways is quite good as... Um, Arthur Homewood. Do it, man. Bring him here. Spare no expense. Do it now. Ah! Yeah! Uh, Billy Campbell is great as uh, Quincy Morris. Yes. <laughs> well, you're a sick old buzzard. <laughs> Whoa, toot. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Tom Waits is excellent in the role of Renfield. I am here. I have worshipped you. Wouldn't you prefer a cat? Oh, yes. A big cat. Some of the performances that are questionable um, due to the casting decisions or performance-wise are Winona Ryder's casting as Mina Harker. Lucy is a pure and virtuous girl, but I admit that her free way of speaking shocks me sometimes. Um, and Keanu Reeves casting as Jonathan Harker. Are the owner of Carfax Abbey at Perfleet. Congratulations. I think they could have went with uh, some better actors in these roles. I, I am nothing against Winona Ryder. I like her as an actress in certain roles. I just do not think she fit into this period piece style film, and neither did Keanu Reeves. Doctor, you must understand. I doubted everything, even my mind. And I'll give it to Winona Ryder. 
I think she fit in better than what Keanu Reeves did. When my time comes, will you do the same to me? Will you? Um, his phony British accent he's trying to do here in this film just sounds horrid. Oh, let them go. Our work is finished here. Hers has just begun. Um, those performances kind of do bring the film down, but um, overall it is a great adaptation of the original novel, um, minus the fact that, of course, like I said before, Francis Ford Coppola added that whole um, back history for him with uh, Vlad the Impaler, which was not in the initial novel. <laughs> Although, um, as I said in my um, top 10 greatest vampire films list, um, it, Bram Stoker was inspired by the real life character of Vlad the Impaler when he wrote Dracula. Um, but well-written script, and it's uh, just excellently shot by Francis Ford Coppola. Like I said, the only negatives about this film, to me, are one on a writer as Mina and Keanu Reeves as Jonathan. And I, ironic, it's the Harkers that are the problem with the film. We've waited this long, haven't we? We can be married when I return. But my final review for Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, I am going to give this film a 8.5 out of 10. This one could have easily probably been a 10 on my list. Had they cast someone better than Winona Ryder and Keanu Reeves in here. Um, and don't get it twisted. I have nothing against Keanu Reeves. Um, just like I said before, I don't have anything against Winona Ryder. But certain roles, um, these people do not fit. And don't try to force them in there. Um, so what did you guys think of a Bram Stoker's Dracula? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. Well, that's it for another Horror Movie Night. If you missed last week's Horror Movie Night video, you can... Check it out in the link above. Or if you have missed any of our videos on Horror Movie Night, check out this playlist and you can check out anything that you've missed.